us out in the cold gray drawer. Yeah, there ought to be a law make them stay out there after breakfast anyway. Don't worry, Barney. After the day, you'll be shooting that one-eyed monster of yours for Uncle Sam. Yeah, and you'll be seeing plenty of cold gray dawn then, brother. <laughs> you'll find out that the signal cord is a lot of other things besides four signals. After ten years in this racket, it'll be a vacation. <laughs> a simple soul, isn't he, boys? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Well, what do you think of that? Sounds fishy to me. You're Dr. Randall, no? Yes. You hear me? I just want to find Well, I... You're a carter of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Uh-huh. Say, there's a woman on that boat in the name of Agatha Bruce. Yeah? What about her? Ghost hunter. She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Bruce. A story? A great story. Find the story of bootleg gas? Yeah, well, screwball, I guess. That's her over there with the furpies. I guess I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Bonnie. George, it's terrible. What happened? Miss Brewster? Yes. I'm from the Gold Tribune. The first is too upset over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, another time. Uh, oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Bonnie. A pretty smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Now, about that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? The first will phone you. Well, let me give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Well, what about the police? Haven't they been able to trace you? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. I give a gym if you lost, except for this one. He's hidden away at Springdale in the old night. You'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. What's Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. We made the experiment, and unfortunately it was a great success. So great in fact that we've been unable to counteract the result, and Jim... He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it stays in a great deal of unpleasant notoriety. George, what does he mean? Prepare yourself for a great shock. I guess.
them have water here. Stop shaking, Agatha. I will touch you. Oh, you oh. Open the door. Get back! you coming with that ghost yarn? I couldn't get a thing out of her in the boat. Now I'm going through the board. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good ones. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name's Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I can... Ah, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your seat. I'll be with you in a minute. Nice. What went by when I wasn't looking? I see you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. The first girl I met that used it either. Nice? Yeah, but she liked it. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason! I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place wherever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go. Where 
you're going, if I may ask. The spring day of the old Brewster home. An interview with a screwy old dame to get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. I'm worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane. You take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview. And maybe a little bit better. Talk to you, little Wayne, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a 4F like you. 4F? Well, and what gives you the idea I'm in 4F? Well, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14 carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter in his pocket from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman Third Class. Oh. Oh, yes. 30 days past September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F. But the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of it. All right, sailors, shove off. James, I must have human spinal fluid injected into me. It's my only chance. Sandra and I both agree to it. It's the only way to counteract the insulin injection. But she won't do it. Won't do it. Please, James, please. I'll talk to John. I know he'll do anything to save you. I'll ask you. No, he won't. I plead. He's dead. James tells me you refuse to help him any further. Did he tell you why? No. Then I have him. I'd have to commit murder to do it. Murder? Yes, cold blooded murder. You see this spinal fluid that might kill him? And there's a great possibility it would. It's just a chance. That fluid must be taken from a living person. And the taking of it means instant death. Well, I must say the house matches the old girl with tea. 
Sunday. Did you say ghost? Yeah. Ever see any? Don't be silly. He has. <laughs> no kidding. She's written books about him. She's been all over the world, poking around in cemeteries and haunted houses. She just said back from the book store of haunted castles in Europe. <laughs> Come on, let's go.
Are you tired? Oh, no. I just won't sleep all night, that's all. Suppose we get the picture before Miss Mason passes out, huh? Now, listen, Mr. Percy, you stand right over here by the phonograph, and uh, you hold this record. Only like that. Beautiful. All right, come on, come on. Get yourself together. Thanks very much, Mr. Percy. Oh, just a moment. One more. See this please. Oh, yes. Do you mind? Sit over here and sit down. I'll take the galloping coat. Now, you sit there and try and give me a, a pose like you were hunting for a goat. That's it. Get it. That was very kind of you, Miss Brewster. Uh, I'll send you some of those pictures of it. You look great. Come on, honey. Let's go. I'll uh, send you a copy of the article. I might want to check with you later. May I come out again? Uh, I guess so. Please phone me, sir. Oh, certainly, certainly. Thank you very much. Well, uh, goodbye. Are you mad? What did Sandra say? You will not be a problem to your mother. Go and see let me go see your eyes. Galloping goes himself, but it. If I felt all right, like that wouldn't get a laugh out of me. All right, let's go. He's got him again. What a lot of hoes. The galloping goes, huh? You know who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Did that record sound like the noise we heard me drove up? Come to think of it. No. Damn right. Yeah, there's something screw about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. All the fears of cooperation. You need to try it like this. You won't get away with it. Oh, please, Jane, stop me. Oh, leave me alone. Get up, get up there. I love this thing. Get out, or. Call it what you like. Call it what you like. 
It's my life against somebody else. And I don't want to live the rest of my life this day. And I won't. Well, Yes? Someone who sees it for to see you, sir. All right. Ask him to wait in the library. I'll be right back. Very good. You suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on me. Well, the captain sent me over to get some more soap on that Bruce of Insurance case. But I've already told him all I know. Well, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. So the last time you saw him was Thursday, is that right? I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, where do I get the sound? Well, I guess that's all. Thanks a lot, Todd. Not at all. Oh, if you think of anything else in connection with Dr. Booster, let us know. Looks like we sure can use a lot of help on this one. All right, I will. Okay. Well, I'll 
Hey, isn't that the guy we saw at Brewster? It does look like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, those pictures. Look, Dave. What's happened to him? Just lost his butler by strangulation. <laughs> Cops are trying to pin it on an ape. Can you tie that? Here. Well, I see you got something on the film anyway. Now, let's no man river. Uh-oh. Trying to pull a body, huh? What do you mean? Two pictures for the price of one again. Look at that. Where? Right there. Well, I never saw that before. What is it? How did it get there? It's like a gorilla to me. A gorilla? Yeah. Some of it don't. What heading does that come under? Quick photography? Is it a game? I didn't do it. It's in the picture. It was there when I shot it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Think of this as a galloping ghost from Glen Raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? I'm not much of a tar there, but could be. So, the butt of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. Try to tell the boss to do it good. Did you want me to go? No, honey, you stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. I got it, Adam. I got it. What? The fluid. The spine of fluid. Did you know you got it? Yes. Yeah. That's what I expected. You said he wouldn't. He did. I did. He is going to make the injection. He refused it. I tell him. Yes. I mean just what I said. to the police to save you yesterday and made myself almost as guilty as you are. But I won't incriminate myself any further. I'm through. Oh, no, you're not. Threats will do you no good. If necessary, I'll go to the police and tell them the whole story. You'll do as James says. Go on, hurry. Ready, doctor?
Look. Look. Stand up straight.
God. My father. I must have known. Okay. I need more. in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghost to go by? No, I've got a hunch there's something sooner than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, it's no place for a babe in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more body pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks.
Can someone else? No. No, I don't need to Come in. Mm-hmm. A little touch up on the hair, new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Lucy? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? I'll face the little girl. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me. Drawings of what?
down in there. I can't open that thing. You know how it works. Come on, make her open it up. Quick! You over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Truly idea, wasn't it? 